Hello, my name is Steph Bartlett. Welcome to my YouTube channel where me and my little dog Coco Bella are traveling around Australia in a Toyota coaster bus. In this YouTube video, I cover quite some ground as I travel from Mataranka all the way back to my farmhouse in South Australia. Good morning from Mataranka. Yesterday, Coco and I drove from Darwin to here, Mataranka. I had the best sleep last night. I really needed it. <laughs> I really needed a good sleep. It's a bit cooler here, which helps as well. Coco needs a drink. So as for today, we are going, I don't actually know where we're heading. It's either Banker Banker Station. I tried to book online, but the internet just wasn't working well enough for that to happen. Coco wants to get on my bed. Um, so I might end up at three ways at the roadhouse there. We'll see how we go. Choose your own adventure day today. <laughs> In the end, I actually ended up driving 682 kilometers all the way to Devil's Marbles Hotel. Last time I stayed here on the way up to Darwin, I booked a powered site, but this time there wasn't any powered sites or unpowered sites available, but they do have this free camp out the front, which was great. The only downside was it was an extremely hot day and evening, but hey, at least I had somewhere safe to pull up, I had a good night's sleep and the best bit, are you ready for it? I could get an iced almond latte the next morning, which I was very, very happy about. I then had a very easy day of driving. I only had to drive 393 kilometers to Alice Springs, one of my favorite spots where I pulled up at Temple Bar Caravan Park, where I stayed on the way up. Ha! Ah, it was so nice to pull up for a few days. Hello, hello. Coco and I have made it to Alice Springs. Haven't we, Coco? Coco is getting spoiled. She's not normally allowed to come on my bed, are you? No. I don't think she's been feeling 100%. She's been drinking heaps and heaps of water. She had like white stuff on her nose as well. I'm not sure what that's about, but anyway, you're coming back to life. That's good to see, mate. Good to see, yeah. Anyhow, we're in Alice Springs. <laughs> Are you quite all right? You just want to get right in front of the camera. You want to pat. And I'm exhausted. I've done a couple of really big days of driving. I went from Darwin to Mataranka and then Mataranka to Devil's Marbles yesterday and then Devil's Marbles to Alice Springs today. And I'm going to stay here for a few days. I've got some Zoom calls for work that I need to do. And then the day before I head off, my friends aren't working. So I'm going to do breakfast or lunch or something with them before I leave Alice Springs. And then I'll be driving to Cooper Pedy, Cooper Pedy to the Flinders Ranges, and then to home. And I cannot wait. I caught up with my beautiful friends, Mary and Kate, for a delicious breakfast. Poor Mary had been up for most of the night because one of her horses had a baby foal. And after breakfast, I got to head out there and say hello and meet that little foal. It was super cute. Okay, it's time, Coco Bella. Time to drive from Alice Springs to Cooper PD. This is going to be quite a haul. Google Maps says it will take about seven hours, but that doesn't take into consideration I'm going a bit slower in a bus, so I'd say seven to eight hours on the road. Here we go. I've been so nice. It's been a big day of driving. I'm in Cooper PD. Pulled up after seven or eight hours of driving. I've got the lazy girl dinner tonight. I've got a microwave meal. I've got a few frozen meals in the freezer for when I just don't feel like cooking. Like tonight, there's a camp kitchen here with a microwave, which is awesome. So I've heated up a meal. I think I'll be having an early night. I'm so tired. But when I've got a quick stopover like this, I don't take my bike out. I'll show you. I'll leave my bike in the bus hey coco and don't turn the table around anything like that because then in the morning all i have to do is unplug from power and then take off we are in between cooper pd and glen dambo at the moment on our way to wilmington it is so windy one of the vents above the windscreen on the bus come loose oh, i didn't realize at the time there was just this banging noise i was petrified thinking oh my gosh we're gonna have a breakdown i pulled over and had a chat to a truckie that was parked up in a parking bay and just asked him a few questions and yeah he helped me look over the bus and we worked out a vent had come loose 
So it's nice to know there's people out there that can help, that's for sure. So anyway, we'll keep moving. It's super windy, the headwind. I'm noticing I'm going through the diesel pretty quick. So it'll be good to fill up soon. When I made it to the servo, I got chatting to a lovely couple and I was telling them about the vent and how it was giving me a bit of grief. From there, I kept driving and I had to pull over multiple times because it kept coming loose. They saw that I'd pulled over. They then pulled over and asked if they could help me. They had a ladder, got it out. I got some duct tape, some scissors, and they stuck the vent back in. And it actually did the trick. And I was so, so grateful for their help. I finally made it to Wilmington in the Flinders Ranges and pulled up in my usual spot next door to my sister and brother-in-law. I then went and did one of my favorite hikes, Mount Mirai. I just love that walk so much. I started to feel like I was home, even though I wasn't at my farmhouse yet, but I was familiar with the surroundings and it was so nice to see family. I was um, just having a shower. My sister came in and said, look, it looks on the radar. There's a big storm coming. Lots of hail. So we've just brought the bus out to the shed. What do you reckon, Riley? Is there a big storm? Yeah, I can hear it. You can hear it? Yep. Lucky we got the bus undercover. The weather really did come in. So I was very happy the bus was safe and sound undercover. We then went home to my sister's place and it was bedtime stories with the kids with a torch because the power had gone out. Where's the chickens? I didn't sleep in the bus last night because there was that big storm. So we left the bus out at the farm. I slept on um, in my little nephew's bed and he slept on a mattress on the floor next to me and he just thought it was amazing, like a little sleepover. So we're heading back to the farm and I'm really excited to get home. I cannot wait. They had a heap of rain last night. It's going to look so different than when I left. It's going to be so green, big crops. I can't wait to see it. And I'm home, driving down the pothole, bouncy driveway. It was such a treat to be home again. I was so, so happy. And now the clean out of the bus begins I, because I knew I was coming home. I've just got stuff everywhere. And you'll see in this cupboard, I had to get some stuff out for breakfast. A few things started falling apart, like this little shelf, the screw come out. Um, a couple of the blinds have come a little bit loose. I pulled off my doona and stuff off the bed last night and put it on my bed inside. So I've got a bit of tidying up to do. And that is a wrap for this YouTube video. However, you do not want to miss my next YouTube video where I make the big decision to sell my bus. I hand over the keys to the new owners and I also explain how I came to the decision to sell my bus. Don't forget to hit subscribe to my YouTube channel and as always, be wildly you and live life your way.